outwitting the enemy, how aircraft fool radars by flying low. Flying low can be an effective way for aircraft to evade detection by enemy radar systems. During the Cold War, fast jets could fly below 250 feet and largely avoid enemy radar scans, as radars at the time tended to look upwards at an angle and were not effective at scanning the terrain horizontally. This allowed airplanes to fly below the angle of the radar scan. However, modern radars are now able to scan the terrain horizontally and detect aircraft flying at low altitudes. So, why do pilots still fly low to avoid radar detection? There are several reasons why flying low can help aircraft evade radar detection. One reason is due to the line of sight limitations of radar systems. Most radars are line of sight systems, similar to a flashlight. Just like the beam of a flashlight cannot go around corners, radars cannot see beyond the curvature of the earth. The radar needs a clear line of sight to the target in order to detect it. If something is in the way, the target does not receive the electromagnetic wave and there will be no echo to detect. By flying low, aircraft can stay below the radar's line of sight and avoid detection. Another reason why flying low can help evade radar detection is due to terrain masking. This occurs when the radar's line of sight is blocked by objects such as hills or buildings. If the aircraft is flying below the height of these objects, the radar will not be able to detect it. Clutter can also interfere with a radar's ability to detect and track moving targets. Clutter refers to the echoes that are returned to the radar from non-moving objects such as buildings, trees, and hills. These echoes can interfere with the radar's ability to detect and track moving targets. By flying low, aircraft can stay below the level of clutter and avoid detection. Finally, aircraft can also use jamming techniques to make it harder for enemy radar to detect them. Jamming refers to the intentional interference of radar signals by the use of electronic countermeasures. These countermeasures can be used to disrupt the radar's signal and make it more difficult for the radar to detect the aircraft. In conclusion, flying low can be an effective way for aircraft to evade detection by enemy radar systems. By staying below the radar's line of sight, below the level of terrain masking and clutter, and using jamming techniques, aircraft can make it harder for enemy radar to detect them. Thank you for watching.